When Ruth Riley led the Detroit Shock to the WNBA championship in 2003, she became one of a select few athletes ever to win titles at both the collegiate and professional levels. I've been blessed to win not only a college championship, but you know, a WNBA championship in only my third year as a professional athlete. You know, many athletes go through their entire career not able to attain one, and I've, and I've had two so far. Not only did Riley's team win, but each time she was voted as the outstanding player in the finals. But the accolades did not come without adversity. In fact, the 2003 MVP award was anything but expected as Riley was hardly criticized by the Detroit media prior to that series. I was completely surprised to get the, the MVP of the WNBA just because I have three all-stars on my team and you know, I wasn't even considered one of the top three players on my team. But And before that, there was a lot of controversy in the media about how I wasn't able to to guard the their best player, you know, like a lot of personal criticism about me and, and my game. But handling the emotions that come with adversity seems to have become a way of life for Riley, and that began early on. As a child, she was raised without the presence of a father in her home. You know, my mom, as a single parent, you know, my dad was never around, and so um, she raised, I have an older sister and her brother, so just watching how she did everything she could to raise us with, you know, little or no means. Riley also faced ridicule from peers during her early days. While growing into her now six foot five inch frame, she was often looked at as different. Basketball became a natural outlet, although it didn't come easy at first. You know, like I was always the tallest person, you know, height was always something I had and uh, very uncoordinated um, <laughs> growing up, so it didn't really go hand in hand, but it was something I loved to play, so it was just something I kept at, even though I, you know, like my, I guess, talent came a little later. But throughout the emotional challenges life brought, Riley drew strength from her mother and learned balance. When I'm asked a lot about who my role model is, and the answer is always my mom. Just, um, I'm just an amazing woman to be able to see what she's been through, and um, and I just think that her strength and her her will, her determination, um, hard work, and the way she's able to balance things. Um, you know, I think that hopefully someday when I have kids, I'm able to, to do the same. That sense of balance was key during Ruth's career as a student athlete at Notre Dame. The strain of playing basketball while hitting the books was ever present. But again, using her mom as an example, Ruth excelled on the court as a first team All-American. And she excelled in the classroom too, becoming an academic All-American. I think I'd have to attribute my academic success back to my mom and just, you know, like she demanded that we go to school. She demanded that, you know, like we strive to be the best that we can be. And she's always been supportive of my basketball career, but academics was something that, that she was always on top of. And, and I think that I just strove to be the, the best um, on the court and in the classroom as well. Um, you know, I just wasn't happy with myself. I knew that I could have worked harder to attain something. And so, Nording wasn't easy, you know, it's a pretty challenging academic school and, and I um, learned a lot of how to balance in between basketball and academics and spent very little hours hanging out with anybody else but my books and my, my basketball. Her experiences have given Ruth Riley a sense of perspective when it comes to facing emotional challenges. There, there's so many ups and downs to your sport, you know, you're going to win, you're going to lose. There are going to be times where you just aren't playing well. There are going to be times where you're just above, above all expectations of anyone else. As a professional athlete or, or a businessman, it doesn't matter what area of life you're in or successful in. Um, success in this world is, is so temporary. It's always a humbling experience first. There's always a tribulation or trials that you go through before you build up to, um, to the level of success. Throughout her life, Ruth has been able to overcome difficult emotional conditions. The key to reaching and maintaining success has been her spirit of perseverance.